Hey, what's going on guys? It's Corey from Lion Dads. And today I got another video for you, but before we get started, I want you guys to go down to www.lion-dads.com and get your free PDF on getting started with a carnivore diet. It's got everything you need in there to get you started on a carnivore diet right now, today. <clears throat> it's got a shopping list on there so you can get in the store, get rid of all the crap in your house, replace it with good quality animal-based products, and start losing weight and getting in shape, building muscle right now. So with that being said and out of the way, let's get going on today's video. So what I want to talk about today is something um, that a lot of people are definitely curious about as far as a carnivore diet goes, something that I've heard a lot of you guys talk about. And what that is today is we're going to talk about like mental clarity and mental health and things like that. Uh, before we get going into this one, I do want to let you guys, you know, just a reminder that I'm not like a mental health expert. I'm not a you know, medical professional in any way whatsoever. I'm just kind of uh, here trying to report to you guys things that I've noticed with myself, uh, with people that I've worked with, um, results that people have reported to me, things that I've seen, all anecdotal, nothing in here really based on any like research or studies that I've done or anything like that. There are tons of studies and research on the internet about this subject if you want to deep dive a little farther into it. But this is just, you know, food for thought, check it out, things I've noticed. So when I came to this, I've never been, you know, a, when I came to the carnivore diet, I've never been a guy who had like what you would say is diagnosed as having like depression or anxiety <clears throat> or any like mental health, you know, type issues or things like that. Um, I've always been pretty, you know, I've never had any medication I've had to take for that kind of stuff. Um, nothing like that. I do come from a family that has a history of some mental health issues, um, addiction issues, things like that for sure. Um, some bipolar things like that. Um, and, and then, but, but nothing that affects me directly as far as my own personal self. But, uh, you know, I did notice after the fact, after I started a carnivore diet, that things did begin to change for me from a mental standpoint. I did notice that um, I started to think a little more clearly. Um, I started to be able to handle <clears throat> um, focus a little, like to focus a little better. I was able to concentrate more. And uh, what I did some research and found out was I was experiencing what seemed to be a, a thing called brain fog. That was a thing that I had probably been dealing with for a long time uh, as far as just inability to focus, uh, inability to really, really deep, you know, dive into things and tasks and, and concentrate and just get everything. Just I just it was never tight. It was never just fully on, if that makes any sense. It's hard to really put it into words the way I was feeling before and I, you know, obviously, I mean, you can't tell a blind, a, a blind person doesn't know they're blind until you tell them they're blind, right? I didn't realize that this was an issue that I had been having. You know, I didn't realize that, you know, I had been having concentration and focus issues and things like that. And it's, it was no wonder that I had, you know, some issues like, no, I don't want to say serious issues, but in my professional life and, and, you know, at home and things, just motivation to get things done and things like that. Um, these were things I was experiencing <clears throat> that I was just having, you know, trouble with some focus some concentration, things like that. And what I noticed was after about a month or so on the carnivore diet, um, there was just this sense of mental clarity uh, that I started noticing that I was able to really, really get in a zone. Um, everything in my life, I just think I got sharper. You know, I was able to kind of just zone in, focus. Um, definitely motivation became a factor. Um, I noticed quite a bit more motivation in everything I did. My work, like for so my workouts, let's go there first. Let's talk about what my workouts were. Um, my workouts just got way better almost immediately. You know, I'd been staying working out for a long time, even though I was fat and out of shape. I was in, you know, going in the gym a couple times a week, trying to, you know, just get something going, 
work out, build, you know, try to build some muscle, get on the cardio, do things like that. But it just the motivation just was never there. And you know, a lot of that comes from just being out of shape and fat, but I think there's a big mental aspect of that. So for me, I was noticing having a hard time with my workouts, just one, getting off my fat ass and getting in there and doing it. You know, that was a big one. Uh, and then when I got in the gym, it just, for years, and I'm talking years, I'm talking probably from the end of my military career up until I started the carnivore diet, which would have been probably about a seven year span. Um, I noticed I was just kind of going in the gym and dragging ass. I was just going through the motions. I wasn't, you know, focusing. I wasn't dialing in. I wasn't, I wasn't going all in. I just couldn't get myself <clears throat> to that mental place where everything was just tight and everything was just really good and dialed in. And I just was slacking. That's the only, that's the only way I can really say it. Slacking, dragging ass and just not you know, being my usual self to what my workouts had been, you know, when I was a lot younger. And I thought maybe is this like a getting older thing? I didn't know. You know, I had no clue. I knew I figured part of it was probably just being sluggish from eating like shit all the time. And I didn't change my diet. You know, I was in there working out and exercising and I knew I figured I was doing some good. It's better to get a workout in than no workout at all, right? But just not feeling my body properly, I just you know, it's just it's just not gonna be right. That's the best way to describe it. You're just not going to be right. So once I switched to the diet, just everything clicked. Everything, I started going to the gym and I'm able to focus. I'm able to dial in. I uh, just motivate. I, I would pop right out of bed and be like, I'm going. I'm ready to get there. Um, I was still taking some caffeine and stuff like that. But it just, I almost got to the point where it was like too much. And I'd get in the gym and I would just be like, just rocking. You know what I mean? Um, and then I noticed, you know, as the workouts got better, because I was more dialed in, that, you know, the results started coming faster. You know what I mean? And the results are coming from the diet. You know, you change the diet, it's going to fix everything. I'm, you know, you're going to start losing weight faster and seeing good results when you're eating right, when you're, you know, eating the right amount of protein, the right amount of fat, and you're eating intuitively. You're doing what your body's asking you to do. Uh, but, you know, I think the workouts helped a lot. You know, I started seeing really good results. I, I started pushing myself to my limits and, you know, not really being, a, you know, afraid of getting, you know, things happening to me. I was, I think when I was fat and out of shape, I was always kind of worried about getting hurt because I, intuitively I knew I was unhealthy and I knew I was fucked up and I knew that, it, you know, I wasn't in there, you know, doing right by myself. So I was, you know, second guessing everything I was doing. And that's another thing that kind of went away. I started uh, noticing a lot more confidence in just every daily activities, things that I used to like second guess myself on, or I would stop and think like about things and be unsure or whatever. I kind of just developed this confidence, this free for all attitude where I could just go in and, you know, I'm just going to do it. And if I fuck it up, oh, well, you know what I mean? Just like this making these videos right i'm not perfect i'm screwing up just about every time i get in front of the camera you know what i mean this isn't perfect but i'm just trying to figure things out you know and i'm not scared to do that anymore because my mental health my mental clarity is just kind of there you know it's kind of dialed into the point where i just had a lot more self-confidence i noticed that in the gym and then i started noticing that in my professional life you know i had started a new job <clears throat> same company just kind of leveled up in jobs over time as I kind of do that every few years or so um, and I you know I got a new opportunity and for a while there I was kind of unsure if I was a good fit for it you know what I mean maybe was I a little out of my league a little out of my element in the first six months before I started a carnivore diet then I got on the carnivore diet and you know what this weird thing happened where I didn't give a shit anymore I was gonna just go all in I was gonna learn I was gonna take on any task they were given to me and if I screw it up you know what, I'll ask for forgiveness later and I'll learn from it and I'll fix it. And that's kind of the attitude that I've developed over the last few years. It was an attitude I had early on in my life, but as I got kind of older, it kind of went away and I started playing things a little more safe. You know, now, you know, I have this attitude of like, I'm going to figure this thing out. You know, I'm confident that I can sit down just like I did here with, you know, starting this YouTube channel and starting this coaching and everything like that. I just, I'm, I'm, I know what I have to offer the world. I'm confident in myself. Um, I've seen results. I've seen the changes I can make in my own life and why the hell can't I help anybody? 
So I sat down and said, fuck it, I'm going all in and here I am. You know what I mean? And it's going great and I'm having the time of my life now. You know, and that's an attitude that I just never had before. I didn't have that clarity. I didn't have that focus and I didn't have that wherewithal in myself to actually just sit and do. You know, I just want to go. I just want to do. And maybe there is some like anxiety to that or something. Maybe that is what you would call it. But there was just a lack of confidence that I had in myself because I just wasn't fueled up right. Um, I wasn't running at an optimal level. Um, Everything in my body was broken and jacked up. And once I fixed that, that's when I noticed things. So like I said, I've never experienced depression. I don't know what that, what that is to go through, you know, to go through that. Um, I know a lot of people in my life, in my family life, that go that do suffer from that. And, you know, I know how debilitating it is, especially when you couple depression and anxiety. And so I have known plenty, uh, and I've personally known a few people who have come to this way of eating with depression and noticed significant, significant changes in that department from what they have reported to me. Um, and it, and it, it didn't take long at all. It was kind of with my brain fog, mental, mental clarity, mental focus thing that a lot of people came to this, <clears throat> you know, knowing that something was wrong and something was off and they just never felt like themselves and they never felt that self-value and things like that. And when they started dialing in, and getting their you know diet in check these mental health issues started going away there's been plenty of cases of people who are on like i said i'm not a doctor here so i'm not telling you get on the carnivore diet and ditch your medicine or anything like that that's not what i'm saying you know but there's plenty of people who have come to this and have gotten off like mental health medications and stuff i personally know two two people that were on ssris when they came to this way of eating that are no longer on them. Um, I have one person that in my life that I am still trying to make that happen for, still trying to get them all in on eating this way in hopes of that possibly happening. Um, That person's a work in progress, um, having some hard times with slip ups and things like that. And you know, we're gonna, I'm I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna keep working till I get, till I get them there, right? Um, But, you know, what it all comes down to, from what I understand after doing some research on it and reading and stuff like that, and like I said, there's tons of sources online. You can check them out. I mean, I'm not going to go out and find them all for you, but, you know, there's, it's, you know, we all have Google, right? But uh, the, there's a lot of research that suggests that there's a lot of um, your gut biome that has to do a lot with. There's that mind connection to your gut biome and when they start fixing some of these issues in your gut and you start cleaning your gut out because that's one of the first things that happens on a carnivore diet is you purge a lot of stuff you know we all know the whole you know the carnivore diarrhea thing that happens where you kind of are on the toilet for the first you know week or two and you're cleaning a lot of stuff out you know what i mean there's a lot of bad stuff in there that you know you have built up over time over years of abuse and when you flush a lot of you you flush a lot of bad stuff out of your gut biome, and then you kind of have hit the reset button. And there is evidence and research out there that I have read on the internet. And like I said, if you want to check it out, you know, hit Google and go figure it out. We're all grown ups here. Um, but there that there's a the connection between the gut biome and the and the mental portion of it. So I found that interesting, you know what I mean? Like I said, I'm not a doctor and I'm not a scientist. I don't do you know, medical research or anything like that. I just kind of run experiments on myself and see what happens and find things that work and I report them back to you guys that have worked for me. And I think that that definitely is a, po- a high probability and something that I believe could you know, definitely potentially be valid, you know what I mean? So when you think about it that way, it just kind of makes sense that your gut you know flora your it's it's like a whole environment in there and you get bad elements in there and it affects the rest of your body you know that's where everything starts when you 
you know, um, taking nutrients and you're eating right and everything, the first place you're going to notice change is in your gut because that's the first place the food goes and that's where everything starts breaking down. And it makes sense that things go from there, right, into your bloodstream and into the rest of your body, fueling all the different organs and functions and muscles and everything else that works. So why wouldn't it make sense that your gut biome is somehow connected to your brain? You know, your brain is connected to pretty much every portion of your body. If you look at the nervous system, if you look at x-rays and MRIs and things like that, like I saw a picture the other day of a guy's teeth and now all the different nerves and stuff are all just wired right into the brain and it's crazy to think about how, you know, even getting things, I've read some studies that possibly even like a root canal can cause some kind of disconnect between your mouth and your brain, which just makes me crazy to think about because I've had a couple of those when I was younger. But these are all things that have just kind of opened my eyes and definitely <clears throat> highlighted and emphasized the importance on getting your diet right you know how everything just affects the rest of your body and made me think you know all the for years all the shit that I put into my body the shit that I put into my gut how was that channeling and moving to different portions of my body and affecting everything and what damage did I cause to myself far beyond just even being fat you know what I mean far beyond just being out of shape and sluggish and lethargic and things like that and it just makes sense to me that, you know, once I fixed my my gut biome, once I hit the reset button on my my gut environment, that everything else just started clicking and coming into place. You know what I mean? Even before the weight loss happened, even before I started really gaining a lot of muscle, it seems like that mental portion, that mind connection to the rest of my body was the first thing that really got fixed and it was just so easy for me from that point to go all in on trying to adjust and fix my health um, there have been other studies about other mental health type things and they're you know a lot of pretty serious stuff there's people that have you know like bipolar issues and things like that they're saying it's possible I have not worked with somebody who's bipolar um, I don't think I'm at the point where I'm quite comfortable with that where um, saying that I'm gonna you know help fix somebody that's bipolar you know what I mean that's a that's a pretty big one but uh, it's it's something to think about if you know you have some of these you know and obviously I'm never gonna tell you like not to talk to your doctor or anything you know if you're on medication for any mental health issues or anything like that obviously that's the first place you need to go but let them know you know if you can or find yourself a doctor that is more open to a you know, low carb animal based diet. There's tons of them out there. I think Ken Berry did a video um, for how to find a doctor in your area um, that is more open to a ketogenic or animal based carnivore type diet. Um, if you can talk to a doctor like that um, and let them know, hey, I'm on this medication, I kind of want to try changing my diet up a little bit, getting off, at least getting off the processed shit and eating more whole foods and things like that, and finding out what works for you and finding out what doesn't. And see if maybe you can get off those medications. I really hope, I, I would love it. I know, you know, there's a big big brother, big pharmas out there, you know, trying to push and keep us fat and out of shape and on medications and in bad mental conditions and things like that. And I, uh, I want to, you know, change that for the world. I'd love to be a part of, you know, saying I was a part of the fight of getting people off of medications and getting people healthy and in shape again you know, and, and just kind of seeing if there's natural ways that we can fix these issues, you know. And like I said, maybe you try it, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. I'm not telling anybody that, you know, this is a miracle cure for your mental illness or anything like that, and that you're definitely going to be able to get off your medication or anything. That's not what I'm saying, but I'm just saying it can't hurt to give it a shot, right? Um, I'm just reporting what I've found in my life and in the lives of others that I've found and helped, and I think that can kind of do... Hopefully, maybe, if I can offer that opportunity to maybe hopefully have that happen for some of you, um, that would be awesome. So, you know, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know if you think, you know, you've experienced that or if you'd be interested in something like that. Or even comment and let me know if you think I'm insane and crazy and full of shit. I really don't care. I got thick skin. Um, my mental fortitude is fantastic and 
I don't care what you say negative about me or otherwise. So let me know. It's an interesting conversation to have, food for thought. Like I said, I'm not sitting here telling you it is one way or the other because I'm not, uh, not a scientist. I just pretend to be one on YouTube. So that's it for now. As a reminder, make sure you go down to lion-dads.com. I got a link down in the description and get your free PDF. Get started on a carnivore diet. Get started losing weight. Get started building muscle. See if you can come off medications, mental mental health wise or anything else. You know, let's just, you know, get this thing going, see what you can find and see how you can help yourself. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Adios.